Hey guys, Bob here with a video on changing out my transfer case fluid today. I'm seriously not going to get into the heated debate of whether to use the Toyota Gold Fluid, which has ingredients such as unicorn poop and Bigfoot tears that cost about $60 and up per can where you need two cans to perform the job. I'm going to be using a European brand called Ravenol. Uh, this European brand claims to have the same consistency, the same ingredients, and they're compatible to Toyota's Unicorn Poop 75W. Okay, so if you look up closely, I'll, I'll send you guys the link. It actually says here, right here, compatible with a Toyota 75W. Okay, so I think it's okay to be using this. This is the first time I'm, I'm actually using this, but um, and, I, and I do trust it. I, I've been reading a lot of threads on this and um, and it's a lot better than uh, going out and buying you know $120, $130 worth of uh, fluid just to do a transfer case. Okay, so, uh, but just in case, in the event that there are still haters that are going to dislike this video because of it, I'm going to tape this right here, right there, tape this onto the Ravno bottle so you can sleep better at night. Okay. I also pray you get more hugs from your mom in which you're lacking. Okay, so um, there you go. Hope you feel better. Let's just pretend we are installing this. Let's get with it. Let's do this. To get started, you're gonna need an uh, oil drain pan right here. You're gonna need about one and a half quarts of you know transfer case fluid. It doesn't matter what kind of transfer case fluid. Um, but if you do use Ravenol, you, I swear to God, you're going to probably need a pair of pliers to take off this cap because I, I couldn't do it with my bare hands and I'm a pretty strong person. You're going to need uh, two brand new washers um, for your drain and fill plug. Here's the part number. I already showed you the part number. Okay, you're going to need a breaker, a little cheater bar right here. You're going to need a torque wrench with a 24 millimeter socket. Okay, you're also going to need a pump and you're probably going to need a, a normal... Um, gear oil bottle just like this in order to fit this pump on um, you're going to take an empty bottle like this and you're going to fill these two in here just so you could use the pump because this pump doesn't fit into this nozzle at all this nozzle is just huge it's about two inches wide right and this one's only about one inch okay that's what you're going to need now let's go find out the location of your transfer case if you go to the passenger side of your car and if you look at the middle of your passenger door, it's going to be directly underneath. Now let's go directly underneath and you're going to see that shiny object right there. You see that? That's your transfer case right there. Let's go ahead and move uh, closer and we're going to show you the drain and fill bolts, okay? Okay, so here's your transfer case. All I did was move the camera closer and I'm looking forward. Okay, forward into your driver's seat right now. Okay, this is your drain bolt. It's 24 millimeters. And luckily, your fill bolt is exactly 24 millimeters also. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and break these open. You want to break this one open first, just in case if it does get jammed and you're screwed, you haven't let all your fluids out. Okay, so let's go ahead and break this one open first, guys. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and get your drain pan ready right underneath your, your bolts, okay? Because you're going to break open your bolts right about now. Let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my breaker bar and my 24 millimeter socket right here, just like this. And I'm going to take my breaker bar and put it at the end of it, right? This is how I'm going to break it loose, okay? There you go broke open loose very nicely too guys okay so I'm gonna leave this loose a little bit I just want to make sure I could break this one open which isn't as important but I'm gonna break it open anyways right about now let's go ahead and do that make sure you're going counterclockwise you don't want to tighten it any more than it already is guys there you go BAM now that I got both of them loose, I'm going to go ahead and drain them right now. Let's go ahead and drain them, guys. There it goes. Whoa, got my washer in there, too. I'm going to throw away this washer. I'm going to use a brand new crush washer. 
Okay, while it's coming out, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the fill boat just to get some air in there. Let the flow go a little easier. There you go, woo, look at that. Once I removed my, my uh, fill boat, more fluids came out. Next folks, I'm gonna take my drain and fill boat, I'm gonna take off the old washer and toss them, even though it looks brand spanking new. Look at that, looks brand new. I'm gonna go ahead and toss them anyways, only because a brand new washer is super cheap, guys. I found these on eBay, they're identical, and here's the part number up there for you. I did find them on eBay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe these uh, drain and fill boats really good and dry, okay? A uh, good thing about this is there's no um, metal shavings or anything attached to this. I, I don't see any magnets or anything like that, but I also don't see any shavings falling into these bolts, okay? So I, I'm looking for um, dirt and grime or any kind of debris. Um, I'm looking at my bolts to make sure that I didn't strip it or anything like that. And if, if you cornered off these edges, it's a good idea to go ahead and just buy a brand new bolt right now. You don't want to put back a old and worn bolt because it's going to strip on you later on, especially these corners. Okay, so these looks fairly brand new. I'm going to go ahead and take my brand new washers. It doesn't go, uh, it doesn't matter which way you uh, put it. They're non-directional. Okay, unlike the other washers where one side is beveled and the other side isn't. So I'm going to put these two on right now and I'm going to go ahead and go back to the car with, with my oil. I already uh, put uh, the Ravenel oil inside this bottle, okay? Yeah, even if you don't clean out the old oil completely, 75W90 in, in with your 75W is not going to do anything if there's small traces of it. A lot of people on, um, on the Club Lexus forums and I hate mud actually use 75W90. Uh, they don't use the unicorn poop. If you go to a Lexus dealers, they're going to tell you they use 75W90. So there's, there's going to be a lot of people that, are, uh, that will pray and swear up and down and say, you have to use Toyota Lexus fluid or else your car is going to blow up because it's got unicorn poop in it. Well, guys, I'm telling you, the Lexus dealer uses 75W90. They use Mobile One. They use Valvoline. Okay, so if you want to use that very expensive fluid, go for it. Just make sure you get a lot of hugs from your mom tonight when you go to sleep because you've probably been bullied growing up. Okay, so let's go ahead and take these bolts back to the car, guys. Woo! All right, folks, at this point, I'm going to want to take a paper towel or a nice clean rag and clean this up a little bit. Get any dirt and debris off the surface that's going to make contact with your washers. You don't want any leaks, guys, okay? Clean it really good. Go ahead and take your brand new bolt and brand new washer and go ahead and stick it in your drain bolt, the very bottom one. There's a top and a bottom. The bottom one is called the drain. The top one is called the fill, okay? I'm going to go ahead and tighten it at this point right now. And you want to do 27 foot pounds. I put 28 foot pounds, guys. I just like a little backup, and plus, I'm using a small adapter right here. So it's going to expand a little bit. I'm going to use 28 foot pounds, guys, even though the book says 27. You hear it click? I feel a click if you don't hear it click. It's clicking right now. You don't want to overdo it. You know, the, the torque specs are there for a reason, guys. You overclick that shit to death, your car is going to blow up, especially if you use unicorn poop, okay? So let's go ahead and get the top hole ready and prepped up for the new fluid. Okay, next I went ahead and grabbed my bottle of fluid, my 75W Ravenol. I took the tube and I stuck it all the way inside my fill boat, okay? Um, and for me to be able to do this because the tube length is really short uh, when you buy it from, you know, your auto parts store. Um, I had to get some kind of a box or something to sit this on in order to reach it. At this point right now, you're going to want to start pumping your fluid in there. The re you're going to want to keep pumping until your arms fall off. Okay, I also forgot to tell you guys, you know, if you're using an old bottle and an old pump like this that's been sitting in your garage for like a year, you're going to want to have to wipe the exterior very clean, especially the, the ends of the tube. Because when I grabbed this, they, they had a lot of... Uh, a bunch of my pubic hairs at the end and I had to wipe it off. So make sure your tube and everything is uh, super clean before you start sticking this in holes that are 
that, that, that are in your car, okay? You don't want any contaminants or debris or foreign objects. Foreign objects, like, uh, I don't, I'm not talking about people from China, guys. I'm talking about foreign debris entering your car and, and messing up your gears, okay? So you're just gonna wanna start pumping this to death. And Jesus Christ, this only proves that I need to start working out because I've never felt so tired in my life. Holy crap, shit. And I'm only halfway. Oh my God, I'm only halfway, okay? And just remember, this is gonna take about one and a half quarts, okay? So um, right when you get to uh, the bottom, like it stops right here, it's not completely empty. You still got about, oh my God, you still got about one eighth left in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer um, I'm going to go and uh, fill the second bottle of Ravenol in here, okay? Just remember, you're going to need about one and a half, 1.6 quarts. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, guys. Okay, guys, I got my second bottle right here. What we're looking for is, while I'm pumping, we're looking for spillage. We're looking for fluids that's starting to spill out. That's when it's completely full, and that's, uh, that's where our level is going to be at, okay? So let's continue pumping. Remember one and a half quarts, 1.6 quarts, 1.7 quarts around that area. If you notice, and I haven't told you this already, I have my car completely leveled, okay? I have my car on four jack stands. I don't have just my front lifted up. If you have your front lifted up, it kind of gives it this a false value because your car is a little tilted. So the level, you might be missing, you know, uh, a little bit of fluid here and there that might cause your car to blow up one day. So you don't want that. So I, I made my car completely leveled, okay? Let's keep pumping, guys. So I'm not fast forwarding this portion because I actually want you guys to see the spillage. And, and plus it saves me on editing. Editing is a son of a bitch. It's so time consuming and I, I end up sitting there talking to myself and, and then I realize how much I hate life. So yeah. Oh, did you guys know that um, I've been getting an influx of hate mail from, from viewers that are sensitive and, and they're just, Bob, you need to cut down on your vulgar language when you're making your videos because it's, it's offensive to me and my family and, and everybody else that's part of the GX community. And I'm like, holy crap, are you kidding me? Holy shit. We are, America has resorted to a land of, of handing out trophies to, to little kids for just participating in sports. Fuck that, guys. A winner is a winner. There's first place, second place, and third place. It encourages you to do better. If you suck, find another job. If you suck at what you do, find another sport. Don't just hand out trophies and get a, a, a false sense that you know, you're doing great when you're not. No. If my kid is getting a C, I'm gonna kick his ass. I'm not gonna say, great job, dude. Keep going, great job. No, no, no. We, we are just becoming a, a land of sensitive animals and and that's how we're gonna die off, okay? It's you, Newton's law of, of, of strength to, to, to animals that are bigger, better, and smarter, okay? The rest, like stupid idiots, they die off. Look at this, guys. This is what I'm talking about. Do you see the spillage? You see the spillage? Okay, once you get the spillage, you're gonna wanna start removing your tube. Ah. Uh, Start removing your tube. Lay your tube inside the drain pan, okay? Because you don't want it to, to get on your concrete floor, your driveway. Um, it will stain and you can never wash it off. Trust me on this. I got so much spillage on my driveway. It doesn't look pretty. The neighbors are starting to complain, okay? Okay, at this point, what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna take your, your fill bolt and brand new washer and you're gonna wanna close it up at this point right here, okay? Once you close it right up, you want to move this out of the way here, guys. Move this out of the way. You want to get your torque wrench and you're going to torque it at 27 foot pounds. You know me, 28 foot pounds is cool. Got that? You feel the click? You hear the click? You got the click? Right there. Once you are done with all the clicks, you're going to want to clean up your mess. You don't want any oil residue. And the reason why you don't want any oil residue because if your engine and transfer case and transmission and anything under here gets hot, it, it starts smoking. And then it's going to give you also a false sense 
that something's wrong with your car when there's nothing wrong with your car. It's just burning off oil and evaporating, okay? So clean it up as good as possible. And also clean up areas that you're holding on to. See, I'm holding on to this pipe while I'm pumping. And then I just noticed that there's a lot of oil on there. And I gotta clean that portion off too because that's gonna start smoking while I drive, okay? So I, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm super sorry that, um, you know, some of the things I say hurt your feelings and stuff like that. But I just want to keep it real. I'm not here for likes, guys. I'm not here for you guys to, to say, Bobby, great job. Thank you. And, 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 and keep going. And, and, and guys, I created this channel because there was no content on the GX when I first started back in the days 10 years ago there was nothing i enjoy what i do and and it's good fun that we get to talk to one another and listen to one another and if you like what you see continue watching if you don't then go look for another channel like i don't know scott kilmer and and watch him do a, a song and a dance and put on his clown shoes and do this for likes and please click my notifications i'm not about that guys i don't care about the money I make great money being an aerospace engineer, guys. I just love what I do. And if I find anything new for the GX, I'm gonna share it with you guys, okay? So for you true followers of my channel, continue watching, you're gonna learn a lot of stuff. You're gonna learn alternative stuff. You're gonna see things that other people have already done, but you're gonna see my point of view, you're gonna see my reviews, you're gonna see a, a plan B to the same approach, okay? So hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. I, I, I'm sorry I, I, I totally talked so much on this video, but it just bugged the fuck out of me on how many messages I've been getting saying, fuck you, Bob. You fucking suck. You, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't even want to start, guys. Oh, my God. All right, go, go home and, and hug your mom, guys. Peace. 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 And I really mean it.